Welcome back guys to another episode of Forza Horizon 3. Today we are going to be taking a look at one of the most iconic cars from one of the most iconic manufacturers of all time. This my friends is the Enzo of Ferrari. It's so iconic it's actually named after the founder of Ferrari. The founder's name is Enzo Ferrari and this is the Ferrari Enzo. So uh, you guys see what they did there but this thing it's insane. I can't tell you how many kids grew up with this car on posters on their walls. I know some of the younger generation nowadays probably don't really remember this thing as much, but uh, back in the day, this was just like the tip of the top, man. This thing was crazy. Only 400 of these things were ever made, so they're super, super rare. When they first came out, I think they were around a million dollars to be able to buy one, and I think they were only sold to people who already own Ferraris. Uh, now you guys can see 2.8 million credits for this thing in game and I think a lot of them that are for sale right now are like three million dollars plus just because it's such an iconic car and they're never going to make any more of them but um I mean it was built with F1 technology it's actually it's kind of like a trophy for Ferrari so they made this because they were celebrating their first F1 title of the new millennium that's why this thing came into production so it was made with all kinds of F1 technology from back in the early 2000s 0 to 60 around 3 seconds or something like that top speed around 220 miles an hour and to 8 miles per gallon on the gas mileage so this thing is pretty insane we're gonna go ahead and buy this up I'm excited this is just, oh, what a beautiful car, man. All right, we're gonna, we're just gonna go with straight up Ferrari Red. I'm not gonna mess with any, any liveries or any customizations or anything like that because this thing is, it's gotta be like it's meant to be. You know what I mean? I guess a lot of people got these in black too. I've seen a lot of black uh, Enzos, but I like the red Enzo. And this is actually, this is the predecessor to the new La Ferrari. La Ferrari is now kind of like the the ultimate Ferrari and this was the ultimate Ferrari before the La Ferrari came along so look at this thing boys it is so sexy oh my goodness are we just gonna leave it bone stock is there any any option for customizations we can add a rear wing good god please don't don't do that to me oh that was awful all right so I guess we're just we're gonna leave it bone stock on the outside Let's check out what we can do in terms of upgrades here. You know, we like upgrading our vehicles, so we're going to go through and see what we can do for all the different options. Try to bring this up as much as possible, and I'll see you guys when we get done. Oh, no way. We can throw twin turbos on this thing. All right. This is going to be a beast. Let's see this setup. 54,000 credits, but... We're going to take it from an 881 to an 862, almost doubling the horsepower and reducing the weight by like 20 pounds. Holy cow, this thing is going to be a monster. Oh my gosh, I could not be more excited about this. And it's crazy because this car is like almost 20 years old at this point. And it's still going to be an absolute monster. Let's go to Forza Vista. I want to see. I wish we would have done this with all the, the episodes that we've done so far. We're going to open this thing up. Oh, that is so sick. That is so sick. How do we get inside? There we go. All right, let's go ahead and shut the door. Look at all that carbon fiber. Man, this thing is so old school. It doesn't really even look at that much though. I mean, you can tell it's a little bit dated, but this was so technologically advanced for its time. All right, let's go ahead and start her up. Yes! All right. Let's get it, boys. I'm excited. Let's go ahead and go for a drive. Here we go. Holy cow. Old school. I can't believe it's been almost 20 years. I guess it's really closer to 15. But still, it's been a long time since this car came out. I just, man. Childhood. Everybody loved these. They love Vipers, all kinds of stuff like that. Cars you don't really hear too much about nowadays. But um, I guess the Viper is back. But Hey, Trevor. It's Forzathon. Hit the action button to see what the challenges are this week. Oh man, it's Forzathon? We might have to save Forzathon for the next episode because I want to see what this thing can do. So you guys got a little preview of what tomorrow is going to be. We're going to be going after the Forzathon challenges for this week, which I don't even know what they are. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. But um, let's see. What should we do here? Do we have any... Look at this right here. We could do a jungle speedway sprint. Championship. I like the sound of that. So, um, La Corsa Italiana, high rollers, anything goes. Ferrari versus Lamborghini race off, Ferraris only. The 2000s collection. That's what we're looking for. 
the 2000s collection. Race the best of the new millennium with cars of the 2000s at our new championship event. So we should, yeah, we can use the Enzo, Enzo here. All right, let's get it, boys. Oh my gosh, I am so excited. Let's see what this bad girl can do. Alrighty, guys, here we go. What, what is it? Here we go. What, what is an Audi sedan doing in this race right now? <laughs> he just rear-ended a Viper. What was that about, bro? Oh, shoot. We gotta slow down. We gotta slow down. Okay. Got an interesting mix of cars. Everything from Audi sedans to R34s. Gosh, come on, baby. Gosh, this thing is a beast, dude. It's ridiculously fast. I've got a good feeling about this race. I think we're gonna be taking home the W for sure. I just can't believe that we put twin turbos in this. Like, <laughs> it's already so fast, and we're like, ah, yeah, throw the twin turbos in there. Whatever. Woo! Gotta hurry that up, Mr. Ferrari. I got places to be! Sorry, R34, you're beautiful though. Alright, so in front of us we got a Lambo and then an old school car. I'm not sure, is that one of the old school, like, F1 style Maseratis? I think it might be. We're in the second place. Dude, this is insane. This car is just so beautiful. Oh, we have a right hand turn and then a hard right here in a second. Oh, slow it down there, donkey. All right, we're good. We're gonna hop inside. But my goodness, like look at the curves on this thing. Look at the hips in the back. And then in the front, the front fenders that are popping up. She's a 32, 18, 36. She got curves, boys. Oh my gosh. It's a little bit slick in here. Sometimes these huge turns catch up to me right at the wrong time and surprise me. Oh! Edged him out! Let's go, baby! Woo! We got first place. Not by much, but uh, that's a good start to the championship. All right, let's go ahead and move on to our next event, and I'll see you guys there. Doing a little off-roading. We may have lost both of our mirrors, but that's all right. We don't need them because we don't look behind us. We only look at what's ahead. Let's do it, boys. All right, we're going to continue on in this championship. Oh, this is just... I just really like the look of this car. It reminds me of, like, a fighter jet. I don't know. It's just got a lot of, like, weird different lines and aerodynamics and stuff that you don't really see in modern-day cars as much. Not that style, you know what I mean? All right, here we go. Let's see what we can do in race number two. So this one I think is going to be a circuit race. Yeah, we've got three laps here. It's a little bit tighter race. Not as many straights. We're not going to be able to take advantage of that top speed. So it's going to get interesting here. Looks like guys are getting touchy-feely right off the bat. Okay. okay I see y'all. I see y'all. That's all right. Okay, so we're going to be starting off at a solid seven. So it's quite the battle right there at the start of these races. Shoot. Yeah, I'm trying to go around the outside of these guys and I can't because these turns are so sharp. Got him on the inside there. We're just gonna have to go one at a time. I like getting up at like the top five, top three right off the bat and that's just not gonna happen today. We're gonna have to slowly make our way up there and just be okay with that, Trev. See what I mean? You have patience, you'll get there. I was trying to force it. You just gotta feel the road. Feel the car. Feel the rhythm, feel the rhyme. I'm in an Enzo, it's winning time. Oh, Jesus. Oh, gosh, okay. We still have our mirrors, which is good. And McLaren's up there. I'm pretty sure that's an old school McLaren. I don't know too much about the old school F1 cars, to be honest. Oh, we lost a mirror, shoot. Aerodynamics out the window. We don't need them anymore. Uh, but yeah, I, I think that's an old school McLaren. I think those things are beasts. I think that might be part of what this vehicle was modeled after. 
We kind of took the... I think the Enzo was made with the best McLaren. And I think it was like the best V8 McLaren on the... Um, on the track, and they, they t took that and they turned it into a V12. This is a V12, so kind of insane. We have a twin turbo V12 right now. Let's go ahead and hop inside and see if we can get done. Finally made it to the, the podium first place spot here. I'm at number three. You guys are still behind us, but we're doing pretty good. We're looking good, boys. The win is right around these corners. Oh, I was worried about we were going to be going too fast and we just go sliding off right at the end there. We've almost had that happen before. All right, guys, it's time to drive to our next event. Look at this. Look at this single wiper blade. I actually don't like this at all. I would hate this in real life. Look how badly that rain gets in your vision. Like, the wiper blade wipes it down to the left, and then it just comes right back up into the center of your vision. Like, how is that... How is that helping? What's this? There's a, a speed camera there, and then there's a speed camera zone. I'm not really going to be doing a speed trap on a dirt road in this thing. Probably not the best idea. I guess we could try it, but... I don't think it's going to go very well. Oh, I think we missed the start anyway. Right. That's okay. I can barely see over any of these bushes, man. <gasps> Might have a jump here. Nope. What's happening? I don't even know where we're at. But we're just going. Somehow, somehow we saved that and didn't spin out. Okay. Nice. 0.8 miles away from our objective. Getting some, some first person view for you guys. Outside of the race. Oh my gosh, dude, we are flying in the rain. That is nuts. Can you feel the seven time? Grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it. Ah, oh, we passed it. Like quite a bit. Alright. I think we might have to try a top speed run in this thing. I kind of want to see what the top speed's like with the twin turbo. So like I said, in real life, I don't know, I, just, I really enjoy the top speed run we did with the Hennessy Venom GT in the last episode. So, I like to do that with some of the, the faster cars. You guys seem to enjoy it as well. Anyway, here we go. Final race of the championship. This should be, uh, this should be a cakewalk. I mean, we're destroying the competition right now, so. Should be pretty easy. What do we have here? Three lap, little circuit race in the rain. We're gonna have to be kind of careful here. Let me show you guys what Italy's all about, baby. What is that thing? Oh, shoot. We just lost a front bumper or something. I can't even see down there. Oh, this thing is so good, dude. Even in the rain, I just I feel in control. Woohoo! The brakes are something else. That's another thing we didn't do is we didn't um, we didn't do the weight reduction on the tune this time, which I think is helping out. I think I might start. Well, oh, actually, the biggest thing we did is we got the race composite tires. I so you guys are gonna laugh at me. I have never, unless they were already on a car that I I had bought like off the auction house. I had never put race composite on the tires. So that makes literally a world of difference. Like in terms of the stats of the car as well as in the way it performs like especially even right now in the rain with the normal stock tires we would have been flying all over the place but they have race composite they have rally composite all kinds of stuff and I think the reason why we're doing so well is a this car's a beast but then B is the race composite tires so we need to start doing that for all of our cars and that might be the difference of us being able to move up to the next difficulty Cause we can we can stop and turn on a dime right here. We took that last corner a little bit too hard. Just use your error. Alright. Oh shoot. He does 
doesn't let you, dude. He he does not let little mistakes slip. If you mess up one turn just a little bit and you have a little squirreliness, he's passing your ass. Congrats, baby. Ooh. See right there? If we were on normal tires, we would have been flying into the wall because of the rain. All right. There it is, guys. That race, we got first quickly, but then we, we kind of like almost lost it a couple of times. Then we got it back. That was a good one. That was a good one. All right. I'm happy. I'm very happy with this car. I'm going to head over to the highway, and we're going to end things off for this episode with a top speed run. Let's see what we can do. Congratulations to our we made it, guys. Are you ready? Here we go. Let's do it. Woo! The top speed run. Hopefully it works out well. No promises with all this traffic. Looks like lots of people are deciding to use their blinkers today, which is nice, but they aren't really the people we're worried about. We're more worried about the actual drivers. All right, so we're starting off at about 200 miles an hour. Up to 240. So 220 is the max speed on this thing in real life. So the fact that we're at 250 right now shows just how much those um, twin turbos are doing for us. Oh my gosh. 251 going downhill, 253, 255. Oh, the trees messed us up a little bit. Let's see what it looks like inside the speed. Dude, this thing, it just, it feels so effortless, and honestly, it feels really good at this top speed. 255, that's pretty good. 35 miles an hour over the actual top speed of the car in real life. I'd say we did a good tune. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to see you guys in our next episode of Forza Horizon 3. For now, I'm signing out. Sayonara! I was hoping there was going to be a bigger jump than that. It wasn't really that big, but anyway, see you later, guys.